Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading session, the 10th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and uh, decipher as to uh, what happened overnight. Now, US markets uh, initially weak and then staged a major reversal especially in terms of the Asian session. We have the, uh, the Nikkei up 286 points, the Shanghai finishing negative, Hang Seng positive. Now, the major uh, talking point really is the uh, is a sharp reversal in um, US equities. We had the uh, Nasdaq hit a pivot low of 5330, 337 region before it actually pushed up 50 points overnight, up to 5380 now, along the same with the S&P. Hit a pivot low of 23.53 and now currently sitting at 23.75, which is very, very impressive. Okay, mainly triggered by the USD JPY. Okay, into that 115 zone above the 115 zone, and uh, as you know, US markets certainly go ballistic now. Uh, European equities are again uh, enjoying the uh, the rally as well from uh, from the Asian session now. What's baffling to me is that uh, Mr. Draghi was certainly hawkish, and yet you have the European equities uh, making new highs. Now you have the German DAX up above 12,000 again, the French CAC just broke through 5,000, the psychological barrier, you have IBEX, you have the stock 600, the FTSE MIB, FTSE 100 as well today, 7347, even with the weaker price of oil being uh, below the $50 region. Now oil price is certainly not deterring the FTSE from rallying either. Uh, even with the uh, trade balance out today, uh, slightly better than expected, but and the rest of the economic data from the UK was certainly uh, weaker. We had the manufacturing, industrial production, uh, certainly uh, lower, consumer inflation expectations slightly higher as well. Uh, everything indicating bearish uh, price action, yet the FTSE 100 certainly higher. Now, German data was probably the only bright spot this morning. Uh, you had uh, exports higher, trade balance stronger as well, imports slightly stronger as well, okay? That certainly did help the uh, the eurozone to a large extent, but that was negated by industrial output from France being lower than expected, retail sales from Spain being lower than expected, and obviously UK trade data being weaker than expected. So, again, the weaker price of oil certainly not having any uh, any effect thus far. Now let's bring up the technical uh, picture now and let's see exactly where we stand technically. Okay, so let's start off with the German DAX first and foremost, looking at a daily chart. Okay, so daily chart going back up to that high now. Uh, retail are testing that high around the 12070 zone, so watch out for that. 60 minute chart on the German DAX. You are now into uh, resistance, so let's just keep an eye on there. Yesterday's uh, topping tails failed to hold, okay? Uh, still gunning for that unfilled gap below at 11830, uh, so obviously you keep an eye on that in terms of the uh, the German DAX, okay? 10 minute chart of the German DAX at the moment. Uh, obviously, we've closed this uh, gap. Well, we're, oh, sorry, not, we've closed this gap here. Okay, which was around the uh, 12.030. We went back and tested this gap fill at 12.060. If we take that out, then you are going up to 12.080, which was a previous high. Now, from my understanding, especially given Mr. Draghi was very hawkish, okay, hence the reason why the euro is above 1.06, I was expecting that gap to close, and that certainly hasn't been the case. So let's just see exactly how the market plays out. German DAX, like I said, hats off to the uh, the bulls here. Certainly uh, grabbing uh, grabbing the horns and certainly making going for a run. Now, in terms of uh, the uh, French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you again. This is another index that baffles me. We had weaker data today. Uh, obviously, Fran uh, Le Pen uncertainty as well. Okay, and not only that, uh, you have um, uh, the political uncertainty in Europe, Greece concerns as well with regards to bailout not being confirmed, etc., etc. I mean, there certainly is a lot of arguments here, especially with the Fed being hawkish as well. One would have expected a potential uh, sell-off, and that hasn't been the case, unfortunately. It hasn't transpired, okay? Let's just see if this uh, rising contracting wedge pattern can actually deduce a bearish pattern. 60-minute chart, uh, especially given the fact that obviously euro is above 1.06 as well, French data weaker as well, political uncertainty, etc., etc. We've taken out that high at 5,000. Now, no real leg higher. Uh, it indicates to me it seems more of a stop loss run around that 5,000. Unfilled gap below remains at 4,980, so ideally one would target that. Let's just see how the market unfolds, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, Okay, daily chart, the FTSE at the moment, you had that bottoming tail, we retail, we tested the pivot low at 7263 impressively, and then obviously started to reverse and move higher. Daily chart, bullish engulfing candle thus far. 60-minute uh, chart, you are into horizontal resistance, certainly expecting that to hold. 
are on the 7350 zone. You've got 7350, then you've got 7355, 7363. If the market continues higher, then you have 7382, and then the ultimate resistance is 7395. So, uh, given the fact that we've uh, certainly rallied from that pivot low at 7260 up to uh, 7350 now, almost 90 points. Uh, expecting a pullback, expecting a retracement. That's my expectations at the moment. Okay, 10 minute chart, the FTSE are into gap fill resistance. So, naturally, just based on TA, you would certainly have a bearish bias here. Okay, in terms of the Euro stocks, let's just bring up the Euro stocks for you. Euro stocks, again, another index that really does co continue to baffle me. Impressive, very, very impressive. Uh, weekly chart, really, the, I, the next resistance seems to be at 3520. But it's very hard for me to envisage that 3520 actually coming into fruition. Okay, very, very hard, uh, especially given the fact that you have Draghi Hawkish now. Very, very hard for my understanding and my interpretation. But nevertheless, you have to respect an index. If it moves higher, you have the unfilled gap below at 3320, so watch out for 3320 below on the uh, the Euro stocks. Okay, 60 minute chart again, unfilled gap left behind. We've taken on that key resistance at 3410. Hats off to the bulls here. Hats off to the bulls. Okay, so for my understanding, really, if I was uh, trading right now, well, I, which I am obviously, I'm, I'm targeting the uh, three four ten zone. Okay, so at present, my uh, I actually I attempted to short the euro stocks at three four two five. So short from three four two five, stop loss three four five six, and looking for that test at three four hundred, uh, potentially down to this two hundred MA. Bear with me. Okay, there's your two hundred MA. We did the wrong the three four nineties. Okay, so stronger euro, weaker data, certainly should send the euro stocks lower. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.